Start. Energy critical. Wow. So much delay there, Gavin. <laughs> <sighs> G'day and welcome back for more Assertive Acquisitions. And I believe we've got a bit of a mission to do. We do. We, what? We built modules for it. We did? And you built a crane for those modules. Oh yeah. You did. Uh, our mission is to go and see if the asteroids have any uranium, and if not... I'm going to work on some things to try and get massive amounts of fuel from the pole. Ooh. Wait a minute. What? Where did TFE get this bling from? Huh? What bling? Uh. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like he's got a gold ring on his finger. Oh, it does. It does too. Yeah, why is that? I never noticed that before. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get closer to it. Hang on. Let me see if I can do it this way. This is not convoluted at all. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is not right. Just, you really do have a... just the... Yeah. Huh. This is not good table manners, Splitzy. It really isn't. You're fine. No. <laughs> do we want to attempt to start this mission, or are there things around the base you guys want to do before then? Uh, I can't remember what I was doing when we left last time. How'd that go? He's out. He's, he's outside. Out. He went out. He, he went out the hole holes in the walls here, you know. that you smashed into the side of what was was originally your bedroom. No energy. Uh -oh. oh, you lump power. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't sit down. <laughs> well, if you sat down at the conference table instead of trying to stand on us, <laughs> I was hovering. Hmm. <laughs> oh, did we want to try to drain the? Um. The tanker ship oh, right. captured first. Perhaps. Is your ship full? Because that was the other reason for the crane. Oh, were you going to try and attach to that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alright, where should I park the tanker ship then? Or should we actually, let's wait till there's a bit more sun, because we've almost got sun in here. Um, okay. And then I'll move it. Oh. I will deploy this. Oh. Hmm. What? I don't know, that should still work, in theory. What should work in theory? Well, we'll find out. Is this your solar pa panels? Yep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God, you got so lucky there. It's a bit closer than I thought it was. Um... You hadn't thought about that, had you? Hmm. I mean, you could always disable one limb and rotate it 45 degrees. It's already rotated 45 degrees. Yes. That's why it fits in the first place. <laughs> I know, I know. But if you disabled one limb and rotated it 45, your crane would still have a 180 degrees of movement. Yeah, it's it's fine. If required. As long as we're uh, careful on, about not ow. swinging it through the panels, it should be all right. Why, yeah. why is the exhaust block there? It makes me think the crane is broken. <laughs> <laughs> So something with your crane, Kavak. I'm not sure whether you got it set up so you can control the hinge. But I also... haven't done any of the controls yet. Oh, okay, okay. So you've got to spend a bit of time with that. So was your plan with the crane to take modules that were loaded on top of your ship off and just move them, whereas your ship would just pick up any of the ones that, would, that are designed to attach underneath on its own? Well, multi-purpose. I was like, yeah, it could grab modules that are on the top... It can grab modules that are, like, parked on the ground nearby. And move them to easier-to-pick-up locations sort of thing. Yep. And okay. we might make a little storage area for them. Yep. And it can also, like, reach out to, re to like, grab connections to wrecks and stuff. Yeah. Cool. But we may need to shuffle the tanker closer, depending on how far these will get at full extension. Yeah, do you want to see how far they get? And then I'll have an idea of where I need to move the tank to. Or you let me know when you've got enough controls that you can do that. And I'll come over and I'll I'll start looking at where I... Because you were just going to hook up with the connector on the end of the crane, right? Because it's piped through. Uh, yes. So I was kind of torn with the living area and the duplication of the antenna module things, what to do with it. 
I think what I'm going to do is expand the central section so instead of it being just a corridor of three blocks wide, make it wide enough that we can put little rooms and have a corridor as well. Um, so I'm going to expand it all out a bit and see if I can make that work. Does mean our viewing relaxation areas are going to be a bit impacted, but I think uh, overall it's going to be better this way. Any of this makes sense to either of you? Uh, Which probably doesn't, given um, the lack not of context. Listening. Yeah, not listening. That... It's typical. Uh, how do I adjust what the increments are on the velocity? You can't. On the... What? That's madness. Yeah, it's why I use scripts. This is too fast. And also, I can't get the control block to work, which is why I'm bothering with them at all. Oh, do you, to, do you want me to have a look? See what's going on. Yeah, I was hoping to use the control just to do do the rotation so I could... Yeah, mouse control it. Yeah. It's crane but it main didn't seem to be doing anything. And crane rotor. So, what was I not doing? You hadn't set it to control on your hotbar. What? I, I had a thing for control. So no, I'm you had it for hotbar. increased aiming radius. What? <laughs> that is not right. <laughs> That's what it said on my end. Well, oh, I was definitely man, this trying is... to add a control thing to it. This is upsetting with this dangly bit looking straight down. Using the camera. Oh, hey. You got, you're using the camera view. Yeah. Also, you've got a slight problem here. No, I don't. That's a lie. No, 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 no. Um... It's not a problem with your design, it's a problem with our base. Our base is so big, you can't actually zoom in in third person. Yeah, yeah, I did notice that. So I attached, I put up down of the up down rotor on mouse control as well. Okay. Ow. <laughs> ah, be careful. Don't go wacky, waving, inflatable tube man. Yay, it didn't fall over catastrophically. This is serious business. It's seriously fun to fling this around. Well, it grab. won't be fun when it all explodes and I have to build it again. There is a lot less cargo access ports than you would expect for a base this size. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I think just because of the amount of conveyor connections we've got everywhere. It's also really difficult to hear anything when standing in the middle of the base. Yep, it's pretty noisy in there. Now I'm thinking to wonder if Splitsy did that, or Capac did it to be funny. Did what? Uh, the T in elevator is upside down. Oh, that was Capac. I, fi I figured. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... The thing that I'm cons... Like, I was wondering the other day was... Did he do that? on purpose or did it flip upside down and he couldn't be bothered mm. I don't know whether or, he put more effort in for it or less effort in or was it a combination of both now, now I'm thinking I don't, yeah. no the two things I was suggesting are mutually exclusive are they not how alright are you looking at it now no I'm down at the go up room which level is it on it yeah. Ground floor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when I was making it, I mouse. You kind of I pointed at the A. To, like the letters kept being in the wrong rotation when I was trying to place them, so I like accidentally placed a bunch of them the wrong way. Then I got to the T and it placed the wrong way, and I thought it looked funny, so I left it. But you fixed of, all yeah. the others. It's, it's still yeah. well. I was. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, like putting. Enough. I was kind of meaning that the the T itself. So if it was just pure laziness, like half yeah. of it would have been upside down. <laughs> yeah, plus putting the O upside down doesn't make much difference. Yeah, that's true. In Although fact, putting it, it sideways, it looks down. weird. That is also true. Ah. Uh oh. Yes. Excellent. This doesn't sound good. Alive. He's plotting again. Oh no. 
I have got a garage door opener on my ship. And also apparently some missing conveyors. I should probably also fix the broken one on the rear that's been broken for about three weeks. <laughs> oh, are you most ready, Kamek? Uh, I am going to use the tug to maneuver the tanker into position. Oh, the, the tanker can fly. Uh, it can? Yeah, I can fly it if you want. Uh, how well can it fly? Well enough. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's a no. No. The level of flying that it's capable of. No, no, seriously, it can fly well enough. It can fly well enough to be within one block's accuracy? Yeah. Just want to be All able right. to do it quickly. If you want to attempt it. Shouldn't your crane be reaching this, not this, reaching your crane? It's parked too far away. No, I, I get that, but why do I have to be within one block's accuracy? Because the crane, uh, in the way that it's set out now, it can only move side to side. It can't move back and forth. But it can move up and down, right? Yes. I have an hour of flight, so we've got we've got time. We don't need to rush yet. You look like you're quite far away from the connector. I am, but can't you pull... Why, why have you gone so far forward? Can't you pull the... I thought you could control your crane so you could pull, like, the pistons in and move and stuff. All you had to do was put the connector under the other connector so I could drop straight down on top of it. Okay, okay, I thought your crane had more manipulation than it does. Okay, it has plenty of manipulation, but it's already set up in a way that should be quite easy and you're making it unnecessarily difficult. Sounds like it's going well. <laughs> that better? Uh, it needs to be a little forward. Yep, hold about there. Oh, my camera's so far away. Oh, uh, that looks like it's yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. Connected. Well done. Uh, you should be able to shut it off now. Yep, it's it, the dampeners are off on it. Okie dokie. So now we have to figure out which tanks are connected and which ones we can siphon off, and we need to add some tanks to the base. Uh, yeah, do we know where those are going to go yet? Um, I was no. thinking like a big underground tank room. You think off to the side here of your ramps or something? Or uh, you can go in behind the lift shaft bit? Yeah, yeah, that could work. Right, let me just do some digging. I was going to collect some platinum, but now I'm distracted. That's TFE paints things. Yes, there is a reason. Better be a good one. It is. <laughs> it's very specific. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to make this main bit airtight. I need a way to mark, like, what I want to be the outside bit. Wait, what? Basically, I'm just painting a line so I can figure out... Basically, that will be the barrier of where it uh, is airtight. Hey, come back. Do you think it's... Do you think it's really noisy where TFE is? Yes. It is. <laughs> it could be. It sounds like he's yelling over a lot of background noise, but we can't hear any of it. Oh. I don't know. I can hear a bit down here. Come and stand okay. here then and you'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just funny hearing the strain in your voice when it's like peacefully quiet here and serene. Mm. Okay, mate, what I was thinking is if we, say, drop that down a step or two, like a block or two, and then we can put tanks on either side so we can have like a walkway that's above the tanks but the pipe drops around or goes up around to the top of them. Does any of that uh, make sense? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we have tanks on both sides. Now we can expand the room later if we want to have more tanks. But I'm I'm thinking four to six is probably enough. Um, walkable passageway or just... This is purely for decoration. Because it'll be, like, underneath. Yeah, it'll add some extra depth. That's cool. I like it. Oh, no. What? What? You see the problem? No. I can't actually see that that's down there. Turn your lights off? Oh, are they... Are they oh, they're all lighting ones, are they? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I was also thinking I might actually put an access. Yeah, yeah. I think so that cool. you can have like a service corridor to access the pipes. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I forgot to close the doors when I left. Whoops. 
Wait, what? Energy Ow! Low. Wait, what? Round, what? round window corners aren't airtight? Uh, uh, depends what block they're next to. Uh, half slope inverted light armor. Hmm. Yeah, probably not. That's annoying. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to change the route. I thought there was a weird thing with the curved windows that made them even like more mm. airtight than they were supposed to Actually, be. Actually, uh, just... certain circumstances, it depends on what it I is. Could just put some clear windows over the top because we're not going to build anything above these refineries here. Hang on, let me let me have a look before you go and do some giant project that makes me have to go out and mine silicon. Quick, do it. Do it before he notices. Where am I going? Up here. Where have you made a hole? No, it's saying there's a hole here. Where? In this, in Where this are corner. You going? Hang on. I'll activate the... Oh, right. Yeah. Energy. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Would it just be easier to put windows, like, above the refineries? No. No, I've got an idea. It's annoyingly, it's this, it's the half slope inverted light that's the problem. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's why I wanted to come in and have a look, because I was, I was pretty sure I had an idea of where you were talking about, mm. and it was like, you would have had to build so much glass in here. Yeah. And you would have still had a problem over in this corner anyway. Because you would have needed full blocks to push the glass up against. Speaking of, I sort of kind of prefer how the corners look now. I don't think I do, but you do you. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, perfect. So, Kabak, you know the tank you built the connector off on the ship? Huh? You know the tank? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that tank's broken. <laughs> of course Sorry. it is. I, I'm in the process of fixing it. All right, well, with that working, Kapak can fully load his ship up and we can load it up with modules and we can go to the asteroids and we can try and scan them and see if we can actually get that working. Yep, still need some deco down here, but it looks like it's functionally functional. Yeah, we've... I did not realise your crane extended that far. <laughs> I've obviously been inside. A lot so of pistons there. Yeah, I hadn't seen it. Well, I kind of cheated because I was using... Oh like the downwards reach of it to extend it even further because the main plan was to use it as like a just as a drop crane and go straight down but oh yeah do we want to bring any of our fighter ships or are we all going on capac ship uh we're going on capac ship so we'll be running away i guess unless you're well it's, maybe it we... actually depends what you're doing Cap uh, maybe we want to take one fighter as a distraction well, I'm going to be operating the virus to scan stuff. Yeah, I suppose I could dock the H-Tram to the... What's it called again? B-Pack? The Tug of War. war. B-Pack. <laughs> you know how to get him back for this, Capac? Yeah, smash him into a rock. I mean, oh no, I accidentally hit the asteroid and snapped his spaceship off. I mean, that or just remember that he... <laughs> To remember to call him Tiffany. Oh no. <laughs> blam! Blam, 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 blam! Ah! Don't shoot the crane! Celebratory gunfire! Capex made a crane that works. Ah! I Hold fell on. off the me... platform. What? Why did I... <laughs> but I was standing stationary. How did I. You shoot yourself off. Like with the recoil. Oh. Hang on. Let me. Yep! Maybe? I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> anyway, we've wasted all, all that right, ammo. Kavak, how do you go getting to this next bit? Hold on. I'm trying to squish TFE like a bug. Hey. <laughs> Get over here. No. Oh, I thought he was actually going to try and I was going to say, this is a very large crane game. <laughs> uh, I gave up. You're very small. You're like bugs. I can barely see you. <laughs> um, Alright, so... What's... The plan? What am I trying to attach where? You're trying to take off the module that's currently on there. Okay. And then TFE and I are going to do something a little bit janky. Oh no. Do you want to pick up, can you pick up your junk drive module? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh dear. This involves me flying upside down, that's not really possible. 
It's 100% possible. Uh, have you seen how my thrusters are arranged? <laughs> it's really not. Yeah, it's totally possible. I've got four Trust me. downwards. Trust me. Won't work. I... Look, I'm putting enough faith in this plan that I'm climbing aboard your ship. That just means you want a good view of the ensuing explosion. <laughs> okay. Now fly four kilometers up. What? <laughs> it seems like a terrible plan. The amount of fuel I'm going to use, for one thing. <laughs> eh. It's not like you've been mining for it. Yeah, that is true. Disabling inertia dampeners, because <laughs> I don't need them. Actually, I might, considering the angle I'm on. Um, <laughs> no, you won't. I need to. Fine. I just need to adjust a little bit. Um, there we go. Yes, Capac? Might need somebody to spot for me. Yeah. Uh, so we're basically going to attach in space. Yeah, so once you get to zero G, detach, flip Ooh, around, and pick on. it up the other way, and then fly it back down. Ow. Yeah? Yeah. Easy. Okay. I've attached Bye. to the ore module. Hello, I've been abandoned. Can I get somebody Wait, to Why is there another friendly target 1.9 kilometers away in orbit? Something up here. Oh. I'm on my way back, Kamak. I'm now gonna decelerate. Yep, and there's oh, and there's other bits of targeting debris. All right, what am I helping with? I need you to uh, disconnect the connector that's connecting it to the tug. Done. And then I need to lift. Yep, you've lifted. Not very far, but you have lifted. All right, because I can do this. Well, this is... What's wrong, TFA? I was really stupid and didn't converse to a station before trying to attach to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is going to oh, be... You can, But you can you can relative yeah, damp to it. Yeah, I am to it. Hopefully this works. <laughs> so then you just got to be gentle. Yes. And possibly put auto-lock on yes, your landing Yes, I think that's a good idea. Let's know which of you two to watch with amusement to see when... Things are gonna go oh. wrong. Hey, hatched. Oh no! Are you a cargo ship? The oh, correct way around. Jeez, there was a cargo ship that. Could... You knew that transport. Yeah, spot. it got within 1.2 kilometers of me. Lucky there's no drone yet. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Although, I don't. I haven't heard any communications from it. Hmm. Oh, odd. Well done, Capac. Smooth. And uh, then I need to hit disconnect. Yep, and I need to change that because visually that looks very annoying. Just need to. Ah, uh, that'll be that'll be like a two second thing. And the crane is clear. So now you just gotta wait till TFE returns, and then you can put the jump drive on top of your ship. Yeah, and then I can make an extremely minor alteration to like two blocks. What? Where'd it go? He took it up to space so he could flip it over. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it's very difficult to fly upside down in gravity. <laughs> my ship yeah it sort of made sense kind of sort of there was a little bit of logic to it no oh, you're not too far away then oh uh oh oh what just happened my camera just exploded really what oh <laughs> why did you flick that over i didn't expect it to go that far <laughs> Oh, you, um... You could put limits on your hinges to stop this happening. Does that work if the hinges are off? Limits? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Look, I, I can even flip it over with the limits. Well, don't do it too fast or you'll blow up my spotlight. Why are you typing 350? Well, because I was typing it in for building... No. Uh, ah, build vision, but then Capac Cap moved away. Don't do it. <laughs> well, I am... <laughs> You really don't want to... Well, Capac might be able to grab it while you're flying it. Uh, <laughs> uh, that sounds... <laughs> that seems fraught it with really peril. Does. Um, TFE, shall I add a couple of blocks, as blocks for this to rest on? Um, so it doesn't flop off to the side? Should be fine. Uh, it's going to flop real crooked. We don't want that now, do we? No, nobody likes a crooked flop. There you go, Capac, now you can pick it up. Huh. <laughs> the, 
Oh, TFA. Um, no, you would I upset so many people. Mm? Uh, it's great. What? The complete lack of symmetry. Yeah, who cares? Uh, <laughs> you've done something weird to my hinges. What do you mean? I mean, I can't manually control it now because it won't go. This hinge needs to be able to go further. I have armor that. panel symmetry. Oh, How about that? okay. <laughs> oh no, the, did you not notice that your engines are totally asymmetrical? Mm, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm amused by it, I'm not upset by it. The comments will be like, no, it's ruined. <laughs> well, I think you might annoy a few people with that. Uh. Ooh. No, that's not right. Oh, we're going yeah, too far. Pushing it. It's quite hard to see. Yeah. You need a camera like right near the end. Yeah, it exploded. Wow. Right. Thanks. Would you like me to rebuild your camera? No, it's fine. You're basically trying to do this through a telescope. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Maybe binoculars. All right. Is it yes. locked? Yep. It is. You are in control. Okay. Oh boy. Now, how do you plan do on doing this? Are you going to try and attach it while the ship's in the dock, or are you going to lift it up so your ship can fly under it and attach itself? Uh. I mean, the advantage of attaching one dock is we're not going to be using extra fuel. Yeah, I guess the best way would be to yeah put it on the top. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether it fits. Oh, how's it going to do with the thrust? Where's the connector on it? Oh, yeah. Has Deffy made it so that it can't actually fit Kamek ship? What? I made it as small as I could. Uh, it's, one, it's, two... It could be smaller. Yeah, uh, depending on which might fit? Question mark? I wonder when that's going to stop swinging. Yeah, that's what I was just wondering. I did put some breaking talk on that hinge. I was going to say, could you just lock the hinge when it's pretty much straight up and down? Uh, what's the name of that hinge? It is hinge. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, you... it's alright, it's slowing down. The, the swing is slowing. Can you, can you rename it crane head hinge? I love I love how little consideration TFE made for the ship this was attaching to as he was going through oh. the design. <laughs> I mean, you just kind of built it and were like, yeah, it's fine. I I know what this needs to have on it, but I'm not going to think about any part of where it needs to be. The best part is, I'm making fun of you right now. Guarantee I will do the same at some point. What well, it'll turn out your thing is too small. <laughs> well, I don't even know if mine's controllable. That's reassuring. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, it's very bouncy up here. It is a bit. Why am I standing? Oh, why am is... I standing up here other than for potential entertainment when I get killed? <laughs> well, I'm gonna stand near the connector, I think. This is going to be hilarious watching this pulse towards me. What's that? Ow. That's I mean, I should be short enough that I shouldn't get squished. <laughs> Until Capac just accidentally drops it. Yeah, that, that could happen. <laughs> Actually, accidentally dropping it is the least likely yeah, because... thing to happen. There's any number of spectacular yeah. other problems that could <laughs> happen. because, yes, you'd kill Splitzy, but you'd also be hitting your own ship, so... Okay. You're about 200... Uh, sorry, you're about two and a half metres off it. Uh, you need to move toward you about two and a half meters. Oh, you are in lock range. Shall Ooh, I lock? It says locked. Shall I lock? What? It says locked. Yeah, that's because you're already you're locked to the module. The module needs its lock to lock. Oh right, yeah, yeah. If it's in range, lock it. Right. Is possibly locked? I'm uh, getting what do you mean weird possibly? <laughs> Well, I'm getting some weird desync. Uh, it looks like to well, me. Okay, I'm going to detach the oh, crane man. then. Okay. Hey. Close crane enough. Crane is away. It's a, it's a right. hat. What do you mean close it, enough? It, <laughs> dang, I should have shaped it like a sombrero. 
You should have. <laughs> you right. still can. So now I need to come um, pick up. How? Yeah, I need to pick up the little virus module and then we can have head to space. You've actually managed to position it in such a way I don't think any of the thrusters will hit it. <laughs> like almost complete yeah. accident. Uh, I need suit power. I and I think if it was properly rotated, it would still manage to be clear of the thrusters mm. enough. Yeah, I need to refuel my ship. All right, and I'm ready to board Kamak's ship. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, what? What What's just happening? happened? Why was uh, it we didn't, forward? We didn't go anywhere. Oh. Looks like the tanks got switched to stockpile. Uh, okay. That's better. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool looking out the side windows of this thing, at our base, as you move, Kamek. You are clear for me to attach? Oh, I am drifting downwards. Yeah, yeah you will a little bit. Whoa! Uh, we're getting off when get close to that bioweapon transport. 2.2 kilometers what? rapidly closing. <laughs> 2 kilometers. 1.8. We're in space. No, they're calling for drone backup. Uh, we need to... That's yes, right, we can uh, outrun them. We need to em. jump then. No, 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 we need to drag them away and then jump. Oh, I just saw the ship go past the window. Hey, come back. can you see the... Oh, wait, the drones might be going down to the surface? Yeah, look at my legs, go! Yeah. I I can control the landing legs on my thing yeah. now. Yep, it looks like the No, they're chasing us. I thought for a second they were hanging down. So I can retract. Fold them up. Now I can control the scanner turret. Hmm. I would ready to jump. Go back. Huh? <laughs> You're the pilot. Are we ready to jump? Uh, well, do you want me to be the co-pilot and I'll do the jumping? Yeah, we need a jump drive operator. All right. Well, I've, I've built a helm back here that you didn't notice, so I'm assuming that's okay. Have you set up the jump drive? Uh, no. Take that as a no. <laughs> Alrighty. Reducing range of jump drive. Come back. Are you heading towards the objective? I was going to say, have you got the GPS where it is? And uh, that's no fun. Uh, you always got to do your first jump blind. Headed towards the facility here. GPS. Is... Alright. Jumping. Oh. Uh, you might oh want to slow down when we come out the other side. That'll be fine. Still be going at max speed. <laughs> Uh, we're at twelve. We're twelve okay. kilometers away from it. That's not too bad. It is behind yeah. us, though, so I will have to slow yeah. down. Can I get an asteroid to be scanned? Oh, what the? What? The giant eyeball. It's the giant eyeball. Huh? <laughs> the the moon. If you've got the shadow of the thing flickering on it. As I move the camera, it's got a big round shadow on it that expands and contracts as I Yeah, I'm the getting the same thing. It's real weird. Oh, every time Kabak turns, but the scanner moves. Uh, well, I was turning to compensate for the random rotation that the ship was doing. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to wait till we come to a stop to do the scanning. Or be a lot it closer to the asteroids. Because I'm scanning them... I've just left it kind of floating, scanning random ones in the distance. Just to see if I happen upon one that shows up with a uranium signal. But I'm still seeing a lot of cobalt, a lot of uh, nickel signals. Oh, hey TFE, I didn't know you made it in here. How did you not notice I was sitting directly in front of where you were sitting? <laughs> uh, TFE, you, you've got the basic assembler, I've got right? Bits, yeah. I was hoping to just make a couple of bits to make a, another text panel. I want to see if there are... If it's better to look at a regular text panel hey, or if the transparent one is better because what I'm seeing with the transparent ones is part of the 
text of the spectrometer is clipped off the yeah, edges. This is a station you can attach to it if you need to. Oh, one of these Thanos. nearby asteroids has ice. Ooh. We want to. We probably want to move the facility to that one. Silla, sorry, keep getting it wrong. Um, were we meant to be bringing a mining craft? For uh, this? I wasn't. Well, Tiffy was, was going to do some I sort gonna, of zero g mining shenanigan. Uh, I was either going to build it here or build it in bits back on the moon, and then like use the capac ship to bring it here. I'm trying to figure out at what frequency this thing updates because I'm not getting it to update as often as I wanted it to, so it's hard to know what I've looked at and what I'm scanning. Uh, TFE, there's ice on this oh, asteroid. There is. Where? Yep. Uh -huh. Well, there's ice on it. That's good, <laughs> but we need to be able to. There's ice and nickel. Doesn't tell us where on the asteroid is, though, does it? <laughs> yep. Well, so go back if you can give me an angle that allows me to like have a line of the asteroids across my line of sight so that I can scan them and be more easily able to tell which one I'm looking at because looking along it is really hard yeah, like this yeah so when I look at this scan I can see that there are the markings for stone nickel stone that's nickel and then ice again uh Kavak, we might have to do a bit of a journey around the belt do you want to come with me or shall i just go i guess i could come with it's up to you i'm happy i'm happy to take it if you're happy for me to take it oh you'll get my ship trashed mm. well uh yeah we've we've got a basically fly around as much of the belt as we can, possibly just using the jump drive to jump short distances and just keep scanning because I, I I found nothing of note here so far hmm. well what about our escort well we've got a jump drive so as long as I'm not, we're not jumping so much that it runs out of like that it takes forever to charge we should be okay I'm thinking we'll yeah. probably be doing like 25 kilometer jumps captain on the bridge mm. right. oh i have got a slightly oh. daft idea uh, come back come back captain on the bridge good that's appropriate behavior <laughs> where are we going so come back my plan is let's just kind of try and follow the trail of the asteroids around but try and be about 5k's off from them and uh, so okay. what i want you to do is line up point somewhere just off to the sunny side of the asteroid belt and we'll jump there I think we um, are the sunny side of the asteroid belt yes okay I'm being left alone in space yep you are doomed Zoop. Am I? Oh, okay. this is I thought my bad. game just crashed when you jumped. <laughs> Alright, scanning the location. We have... Nothing new. Nickel! And ice! And rock! Yep, pretty much! And cheese! Hmm. No, I can't scan the moon cheese. Oh. What, does it require a separate module for that? Yeah, it requires a sniffer. At least I know, now that I know where the ice is, I won't suffocate or run out of hydrogen up here. It's good. I say up when there isn't really I up. I guess. Um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> nickel and stone, nickel and stone. Well, stone and ice. I think that's all these asteroids are made up of. What, did assert steal the rest? <laughs> no, I imagine maybe the moon or whatever exploded that made... Oh, hang on. No, that's ice again. The moon or whatever exploded to make these rings. Hmm. The ring of asteroids. Or something um, else collided with the moon. That's all it had in it. That makes sense, I suppose. Something collided with the moon and chucked some stuff out into space. Huh? 
Maybe. Maybe. I'm no astrophysicist. I am no astrologer. That's slightly different. <laughs> but my phrenologist said they were totally like a brain surgeon. Like a surgeon. Like a sturgeon. Cutting for the very first time. Yeah. Kabak, all we got is nickel and ice up here. Well, back to the moon we go. Yeah. I've been left on my own. Well, okay, how do we want to do this? So, we now know that we have nothing on the moon beyond... Well, we've got all the things on the moon except for uranium. Should we... Uh, the asteroids only have ice. Well, Does the asteroid the ast facility want to become a different planet facility? Hmm. But is it just the asteroid belt, or are there regular asteroids out it's there just, as well? As far as we've seen, it's just the asteroid well, there belt. There be regular ones further mm. out. We haven't been that far. There might be. I mean, I said that we've been 50 kilometers. Um, yeah. Uh, what's the range of this jump drive? With no H-tram attached... Hey, the H-tram doesn't make that jump... much difference. <laughs> I think we can jump to uh, close to 2,000 Ks. What, so we could jump to uh, one of those other planets? Yeah, we can jump to 2,000. We, we are underneath its uh, maximum weight capacity. How do we know which ones are close? Yeah, maybe try pointing it at I a mean, planet guess... and see if it stops it because it's too close. Judging by the size, the green one and this blue-gray one over here are the closest. That one definitely looks more hospitable than that sickly green one over there. Yeah, we... Yeah, we could do that. Um, should we, before we do this, build some parachutes onto the facility so we can drop it? That does sound like a good idea. <laughs> Alright, well, um, point us back towards the facility, Kamak, and I'll jump us. TV's got his basic assembler up and running, so we can build the parachutes here, yeah. and we could probably go there straight away. Yeah, we should be able to. Question mark? How many parachutes do you think you need for this thing? Wait, doesn't it depend what the atmosphere on the planet we go to is like? Yes. Partially, yes. <laughs> It'll be fine. I think what's more interesting is um, what'll happen if TFE doesn't balance where the parachutes are located. Yeah. I mean, it's a big flat yeah, box. Yeah, that helps. It yeah, but it's be... not. It's got a lot more mass on one side than the other. Mm. Yeah, I probably that's shouldn't true. have mentioned that. I, I, if I wanted to see the outcome, we could. Build another hangar off the back side of it so that it's more balanced. <laughs> let's let's just get parachutes yeah. on it. All right, so we're hand mining to get the solar panels and the parachutes. Is that what's I mean, happening? Do we need? We don't. We need to do the solar panels yet. That is a lot of parachutes, TV. Um. What are you saying? It's too many. I think it's more than you need. Uh... I reckon you could have easily dropped this thing with three. I don't know. Inventory you don't have enough thing. stuff on here to make a large grid piston and a drill, do we? Um, we got a basic assembler, so yes. Yeah, but will, uh, will that take longer than Inventory just digging stuff thing. out to make parachutes? Probably well, not. it depends if TFE wants 12,000 parachutes or if he wants three. No, I think I've got enough now. It's not 12,000. <laughs> Why do I keep going back in? Exaggerating for dramatic effect. Okay, now I'm going to actually go and play 12,000 parachutes. <laughs> also, you've probably got enough solar panels for all, solar cells for those solar panels. You ordered up quite a few. Uh, I didn't order them. I did. <laughs> of course you did. It's cat pack and solar panels. What do you expect? I mean, it doesn't matter because they're not doing anything because there's only fake sunlight. Fake sunlight. <laughs> Renaming the medical room to Asteroid Facility. Oh, I, I guess it'll be um, whatever moon we think we've landed moon on. Moon or planet. We could probably name the planet when we arrive. <laughs> planet, moon. It's a round of gas giant, so it's probably a moon. Whatever it is. Inventory yeah, I'd call a planet, planet, moon. <laughs> Would you call a moon, moon, planet? Yeah. Inventory Actually, I'd probably call them both planet, moon. Just to make Check it even out. more confusing. Right. Would one of them be spelt um, M O O N and one be spelt M U with the umlaut? Sure, why not? 
so that people don't know whether to pronounce it Mun, Moon, or Min. And one spelled P A L N E T, and one spelled B L A N dash I T. Of course. I definitely want auto deploy. <laughs> ah. Live uh, a little. Deploy, then. Uh, so it's five parachutes. So we got seven parachutes, and it's five for each one, isn't it? No, you just need one. Mm. A large grid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for that. I'm not doing what you did. Well, you don't even need one for each. You just need one that's like shared between them. All. Right. Yeah, it's just one giant piece of canvas. So all the panel's done. Uh, come back. We can probably start flying toward the planet. See if we can finish this en route. Now what's we gonna... Okay. Well, we need to disconnect the um, psyllip then. Yep. Just had to mute myself for a sneeze. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, sneezing in a space helmet sounds very unpleasant. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was so disorientating. What? Oh my gosh. So disorientating. I thought the asteroid facility was moving because I was still relative damped to Kamak's ship <laughs> and he started moving. I was like, and all I could see was him. So his ship was the static thing in my view. <laughs> oh, that was very disorientating. I'm getting in my seat. I think I got all the parachute hatches. Uh, I missed one. Ah, oh, that'll be fine. Sure. Um, so I need to detach this thing from the ground. <laughs> and then and then probably yeah. stick some magnetic plates if I'm gonna be dropping it, if I'm gonna be parachuting. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Especially if you land on a hill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can put wheels on it. I mean eventually he could. Well, that's the shortest lived asteroid facility I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and yet somehow it's still probably going to be the longest lived probably I don't know maybe we'll find a low orbit asteroid somewhere uh what, what? that is not right what did it <laughs> cop out of your cockpit what's happened looks fine to me uh, oh I'm flying the asteroid facility but my ship was not oh, moving yeah, yeah. yeah. hop yeah, out of your cockpit again cash. oh Yep, there you go. just like back, yeah. <laughs> it was the same as before, but that one was funnier because the asteroid facility kept moving. Yeah, yeah, uh, I can go and use the seats in the facility. Facility, I, I'm never yeah. going to call it by its incorrect name. Onwards! I like calling it the facility. Alright, which one are we jumping to, Kamek? I thought this one. Alright, Kamek, are you fully targeted at the thing you want to go for? Why are we accelerating to max speed before jumping? <laughs> That's what you that, do. What? It makes a difference of like 500 meters. You gotta get to 88 meters per second before you can jump back in time. Forwards in time. Exactly. Yeah. So you may fire when ready. Not actually going at 88 meters a second. Yeah, you're doing 77. Uh, it's 77. 77. So, how far do you want me to jump? As close as possible. Yeah, but how far is that? 500 million kilometers. Maximum jump. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. Oh boy. Oh, it's big! Why it's big? Oh. Is it like an ice planet? It looks very pale. It does. I don't know. Or is it, or is it, it dust? It, whatever it is, it's got a high albedo. Yeah, it's either going to be dust or snow, isn't it? Oh, the, but what about the blue one up, up above us? Up above? Oh. Yeah. What yeah. about that one? It's not that much further. But I can see even less of that um, one. I know. Noises are so loud. I have to get out of the seat just to get to break the thrust noises. <laughs> it looks like up above us and slightly behind us. It looks a bit like Mars, but it's also got lots of blue on it. Uh, do we roll a dice or flip a coin or play rock paper rock paper scissors with the, each of us? Uh, I think we just keep paying to this one. Alright. Yeah, let's check this one out. Like, because all the other stuff's back towards the moon. 
Plus, we can always go there later. Uh, oh yeah, how's your power supply going with the jump drive? Uh, I got 17 power, whatever that means. Yeah, but how much time have you got left? Uh, it says 42 minutes. Ah, luckily it doesn't take that long to recharge. Actually, I might come and join you on the ship. <laughs> oh, TFE. You know, I was making fun of you of your hydro for your hydrogen engines. What about it? Two of them aren't piped. No, they are piped. Nope. They're not. Well, that's fine. They're not. No. <laughs> so I think one side's piped and one side isn't. I thought I did it so they were mirrored, so... They're not all connected to each other. Nope. But you sure? They are... Two of them are not connected because two of them are not getting any gas. No, but you can see that both sides are connected through the, um... Yeah. Let's go out and have a look. Mm -hmm. Hey, what? You got rid of my control panel over here. I literally told you I did that. Why would you do such a thing? Because I need a way to control the scanner module. Yeah. Jump drive recharges in four minutes. Four minutes? Yep. Um. So, well, we're going to... TFE, if you come out here, you'll notice that two sets of the conveyors are yellow. Yes, I saw that. Um, so where do you sleep on this ship, Capac? Just on the couch? Yeah. That seems... Capac just sleeps wherever he is. But he just sleeps standing up. Yeah, oh. if necessary. How often is Capac standing up? That's true. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know. You read into it what you will. There we go. Engine's fixed. Yay. And it looks basically the same. Oh, why is it... No, it doesn't. Now it's actually mirrored. Well, except you've made the two new engines yellow. <laughs> yep. It's fine. <laughs> Here, it... <laughs> we hate asymmetry. Uh, was it? No, we don't hate asymmetry. We hate symmetry. Jump drive's oh, ready. I'm seated. Are we pointing at the planet? Come back. Are uh, you? Yeah. Do you want to point a bit to the right? Uh, well, don't we want to head towards the day side? Yeah, I just want to make we sure don't that go past. I'm not jumping too far. I need to get a negative jump at some point. Yeah. Okay. I'll target the Terminator. Okay, can't jump into a natural ground. Yay! Field. Okay, that's no. good. That means we're close. Jumping. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're in gravity. Oh, we, we are. are. We, uh, we come back. Stop. <laughs> oh, uh, you might oh, want to put on the right facility Wait. detached. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even put the magnetic plates on it yet. I don't want to have to. He's not even yeah, on it yet. <laughs> building in free fall is not my idea of. <laughs> Do you want some help? Uh, I should be fine. I'm down to it. <laughs> okay. Oh no, except the gravity's messed up. Um, Kavak, we're still moving at 93 meters a second. Yeah. And accelerating. Yeah. Alright, see you to your feet. Well, that's just typical. Have fun. I don't know. Is it really typical when this is the first time uh, anyone's been launched at a planet in an asteroid facility? Yeah. It doesn't seem like a very common occurrence. <laughs> No. Um, I need a camera so I can watch. Oh, yeah. And the better question is, how are you two going to get down here? Oh, dang it. I'm actually falling faster than my jetpack slightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, oh. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens next oh, time. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the terrain looking like? Uh, I can't see the terrain yet. I'm also falling slightly side on. Yeah, just a uh, bit. Am I not, uh, not going to be able to correct that, or am I going to have to land on like my side? I don't have a gyroscope. You're stuck doing whatever well, happens. Well, that means I'm going to put more landing plates on the side. <laughs> oh dear. No, no, no. Remember, the parachutes will rotate you. Oh yeah. 
fucked up. I was gonna say, I haven't got a survival kit on my ship just in case. So I'm gonna be plummeting on my side until like the last thousand meters. Lovely. <laughs> so everybody knows a big open sided box is the best possible means of re entry. It's also very aerodynamic. <laughs> 2,400 meters. Still cannot see the ground. It's very foggy. It's very dark. Jeez. Shoots, shoots have deployed. Put some lights on it. Oh. Well, at least you're going to make the most out oh, of the no. solar panels. It's flipping over. Uh oh. It's not slowing down faster. Oh. Ooh. It's flipping over. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is this is uh. Just let it do the full somersault. It's doing uh, it repeatedly. I really hope it lands the right way up. <laughs> I don't. I wonder if you, the spin's increasing. What? Oh boy. Ugh. Grace. You're getting more spin, Wait, not I'm less. Getting, I'm gaining altitude. <laughs> Slightly. What? No, it's going. It's very slowly <laughs> falling down. No, it's. It must be the lift from those solar panels. Don't tell me my ship the... that's inside is... Oh. Is your ship's... Are the dampeners no, on? No, it? it's not. Oh boy. Okay, this is not what I was expecting to have um, happen here. I could try and cut some of the parachutes. I mean, it all sounds kind of normal to me. Hang on. I honestly... I don't know what the right thing to do with here is. I'm closing one chute. You're almost at the ground. Oh... Uh, Oh boy. You're in a storm! I'm in, I'm in a... Inflate the emergency life raft. Oh boy. This is gonna be an interesting oh, no. landing. <laughs> right. Blow into 80 the meters. tubes. I saw light on the ground. I saw light on the ground again. Uh, it's getting closer. The, apply the oxygen it's getting closer. to yourself before children oh, around you. Oh! Please land upright. Oh! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Have you got your seatbelt on? I think I've landed. I've, I've landed upside down. <laughs> oh no! Did the airbags deploy? Oh uh, no! I'm gonna have to inspect oh dear. the damage. Uh, so... Next time, we will find out what happened to TFE down on the ground. Capac and I will attempt to uh, parachute ourselves there eventually to go and help him, but... That did not go smoothly. It did not. Huh? It was fine up here. Uh, wait, where's my ship? 